Happy Mopar Friday. Alex and I are gonna go take a look at a 69 Super B that I've been kind of eyeballing to buy. We might come home with it, we might not. I don't think I've ever gone to look at a car and not bought one, but maybe this will be the first time I do so. Um, if the guy's cool with it, I'll get a little footage of what the car looks like and we'll show you the, the whole process. So I might come home with another car and you guys are gonna get to enjoy seeing it. Babe, what do you think? About what? I don't know, you're cute. Thank you. Say hi to you. <laughs> Maybe this will be the first one I don't ever buy. We'll see. All we know right now it's a 1969 Dodge Super B. No fender tag, so it's nothing fancy, but it is a B, which we can still check by the van. And it's supposed to have the it's supposed to have the VIN tag still on the dash and the title. So we'll see what it looks like. It's not all rusted to hell and has the parts that are worth the price he's asking for, then maybe it's a yes. Pretty little country area up here. Okay guys, so update. The car is rough. They did some hacked up metal work back in probably the 80s. It looks like they patched in some floors in the trunk. They patched in the floors, they put a trunk pan in it. A lot of booger welds. All the engine compartment metal is kind of boogery. It's it's rough, but it's metal work, and I can do that. So I'm not too scared of it. It's really complete. It's got a lot of parts for it. It, it seems to be that it was a four-speed. At least it's got stuff for being a four-speed right now. Um, throwing in a block with it, too. For It was a 383 car based off of the VIN, but we're going to get a 440 with it, and I think I'm going to do it. Alex is back there. She found a bunch of power wagons and Dodge trucks, and she's getting some trim and some stuff. So we're going to kind of work out a deal, I think, and this will be another really cool project. So uh, I think we're going to come home with this. He'll actually come and deliver it to us, but I think I'm going to get this 69 Super B. So now it's going to be the summer 69 at the Finelli house. 69 Roadrunner, 69 GTX, and the 69 Super B. These are going to be really cool cars. stitch work when someone went through and did a real hack job of stitching different floors in here and these are things you want to look at when you're buying a car. Um, looks like it's got pedals for a four speed though. Yeah this is some sketchy 80s repair jobs here. Let me see it fixed. What you doing there, babes? I'm trying to get this out. <laughs> Snatching some parts. And Alex has been picking some cool Dodge truck parts too that she needs for her truck. So yeah, it's official boys and girls. I'm taking that 69B home. It's be way cool. Heck yeah. Babe, you're just the queen of Mopar parts. That's right. The newest member of the Finelli crew. 69 four speed super b all right a really fun afternoon here we grabbed a whole bunch of cool parts for alex's power wagon got some extra parts for the super b uh some slotted mags and some other cool little extra pieces here along with it and it's going to be another really cool addition to the finale crew so we're still no, we're gonna sell this one. So there's gonna be a Finelli Summer of 69. 69 Roadrunner, the 69 GTX, and now the 69 Super B. Summer we're gonna have 69. The summer of 69, and we're gonna sell all three of these cars when I'm done with them. So be on the lookout, guys. At some point, Finelli Restorations Originals are gonna be for sale, and you can own one of these things. So we're, uh, we're stockpiling our inventory of cool stuff right now. Things are gonna be pretty wild coming up. Here's a grill for the car and here's a little look at some of the cool stuff we got back there so heck yeah we'll catch you guys on sunday when it gets delivered and maybe get a little footage of it coming down and we'll uh talk to you guys then take care we even get a beautiful ride through a canyon on the way home can't beat it 